Good morning, it's James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. I'm deeply grateful to have the honor and the blessing of laying eyes on you today. I'm really excited already to see what you guys share in terms of comments based on what we're going to talk about today. I am somebody who's somewhat of a recovering list maker. I am been doing it for years. I read a study, I think, 30 years ago about writing things down and checking them off. And at that time, there's a lot of research that suggests when we do that, there's a higher likelihood that we'll get things done. And number two, we'll feel better about ourselves in the day that we just had based on moving through our list. Now, there's also some very strong research that says, you know, what if it's one of those days where you just got stuck in a few things or you got distracted or something came up and at the end of the day, you're looking at your list and you're going, man, you know, that was not one of my best showings. Well, Sonia Liebemirsky, who is one of the best researchers out there, and I say best because she's just phenomenal at her craft of studying what the science has about happiness, uh, joy, success, fulfillment, and meaning in your life. She's a Stanford researcher. And for the last several decades, She's dedicated her life to figuring out what is it that really makes us gain more joy and fulfillment in our life and as a side effect, greater success in our lives and how it is that we get a chance to move forward each and every day. And she's not afraid to say that list making is great and it's something we can continue to do, but she's made an important distinction. And this distinction has really been very powerful for me as somebody who um, has a history of uh, quickly finding what wasn't working and, uh, you know, kind of coming down heavy on myself and saying, ah, oh, you know what, you could have done better, you should do better. And this practice that she's brought forward in her studies is really gonna change all of our lives if we're willing to kind of lean into it. So she talks about the power of virtues and she defines virtues as any quality that we hold in ourselves that we would love to bring more into our lives. It could be kindness, it could be gratitude, it could be passion, it could be honesty. Any of the qualities that we would deem as a virtue that we personally connect to and say, yeah, that's something I'd love to have more of in my life. In fact, I'm gonna to dedicate today to practicing this one, two or three virtues. So here's how it works. Her research says that if we go into a day setting, I'm gonna practice gratitude, uh, the virtue of kindness, the virtue of humility, grace, whatever the case may be, and we keep that in the forefront. Before we do our life list of you know returning this email, sending that message, getting that project done, before we do any of that, think about the virtues, the way that you want your life to outpicture, the way that you want your heart to have the message in front of you that says with everything that I do, this is how I want to do it. This is the quality of which I want to bring into these projects, into this day, into this list. Most importantly, these are the way that I want to bring into my life. These are the practices I want to weave in to the fabric of my day. Because her research says at the end of our day, if our virtue was kindness and we went in that day practicing kindness, where the virtue was going to be humility and grace, we end at the end of the day, look back and say, oh, wow, these are all the ways that I practice being graceful and humble, but still really staying in that space of grace throughout all the things that I did. And I projected that light and love into everything that I did. She says that is the greatest way, and the most powerful way that we can exponentially bring more joy and happiness and peace and fulfillment into our life. Isn't that awesome? It's something I would love for all of us, maybe... If you're open and you're feeling like you want to share, I think all of us would benefit. Maybe you'd write down one, two, three virtues that you're working on presently in your life. And if you're feeling so drawn in, maybe you just kind of write those things down, put them in your thing, and then maybe the next day you could kind of go back to it and share, yeah, I practiced this. This is how it worked. This is what I felt at the end of the day. Or just anything that I hope will help us all to feel more connected. I think the more that we share the work that we're doing, our growth mindset, according to Carol Dweck, also at Stanford, Carol Dweck says that the more that we are a student of the things that make us come alive, virtues, and practicing them, the more our life will work for us. The more joy, success, fulfillment, and meaning we will have in our life for us. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful time to step back right in this moment and think about what is it you are drawn to? Who you would love to express? What version of you 
is that virtue that you feel most connected to in your heart. And at the end of this day, that you would love to look back on and say, that was me. That's who I am. Thank you for being who you are. I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. And this community means the world to me. Much love. Every blessing. Bye for now.